six soldiers from one of our local regiments are in hospital with COVID-19 in Kenya. The outbreak happened as the Mercian 2nd Battalion arrived for a five-week training exercise. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball can tell us more. Jeremy, good evening to you. Just how serious is this? Well, Anne, the army's having to reassure some worried families back in Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire because you'd expect soldiers to be young and fit enough to avoid serious COVID symptoms. Now, I'm told those six soldiers in hospital aren't seriously ill. They're eating and chatting, I'm told, and they're as a precaution. That's because their hospital is several hours' drive away from their Kenyan camp in a place called Nanyuki. We know that four of those Mercian soldiers were flown for treatment by helicopter. They just arrived for a 40-day exercise. These pictures from the Mercian's Facebook page, and they'd all been tested, posit tested for COVID after arriving in Kenya. What happened then to the other soldiers? Well, we've had confirmation tonight that over 300 military personnel are now in what's called enhanced isolation. Now, I'm told they won't deploy until the commander's confident that the camp is COVID-free. The army says there have only been a small number of positive tests and local staff have been sent home to stop the virus spreading. That means catering facilities have had to close. But this has all prompted a lot of concern on social media, including some serious questions about why this exercise went ahead during a pandemic. Would you say families over here must be a bit concerned? What are they being told? Well, they've had a letter from the battalion's commander which says this training couldn't be delayed because they'll soon be on standby for deployments around the world. They're also preparing to return to Afghanistan this October. This time, the whole battalion is going to Kabul for what's known as Operation Toral. That's about supporting local forces, protecting foreign advisers, and if necessary, reacting to terrorist attacks. So they do need to be prepared. For now, though, the enemy's a virus. That commander's letter says they're dealing with a difficult situation. He's also criticised what he's called extraordinary negativity on social media.